Hello everyone and welcome to the final episode of our four part uh, video series on the new eSIM standards which is SGP31 32 uh, over the past few videos uh, we and discussions we have explored the evolution of eSIM technology for IoT the advancement of the new standards SGP32 uh, technical aspects of it and how to navigate uh, the uh, the different standards for eSIM if you missed the previous videos the link is there at the end of this video and also in the description below uh, please feel free uh, to, to watch the videos that you might have missed. Uh, this video series has been brought to you by Semtech in collaboration with uh, CounterPoint Research. In this concluding session, we will focus on how Semtech is leveraging EU ICC standards within its uh, cellular portfolio, explore the impact of different IoT use cases, and discuss practical steps for uh, enterprises to deploy SGP32 effectively. I am your host, Mohit Agrawal. And uh, uh, today we have uh, Jerome Coppens, Director of Product Management at Simtech with us. Hello, hello, Jerome, and welcome to the show. Hi, Mohit. Yes. Happy to be here with you today. Good. And um, my first question to you would be that uh, EUICC is becoming an integral part of the IoT connectivity. It is enabling uh, remote uh, SIM provisioning, network flexibility. Uh, so how is Semtech uh, incorporating EUICC uh, standards within its cellular uh, portfolio? Mm -hmm. And beyond that, if you look at the market, the market is really becoming very competitive with multiple vendors coming in. So how is uh, uh, Semtech's approach to EUICC unique in the market? Okay, great. Yeah, lots to unpack in uh, in your question. So I'll start with how we use uh, EUICC at, uh, at Semtech. So we've been uh, leveraging the UICC technology for a couple of years now in our Smart Connectivity uh, Premium offer. Uh, Smart Connectivity Premium is, is our um, ultimate always-on connectivity offer uh, with multi-EMSI, multi-network, uh, multi-profile, um, delivering near to 100% uh, uptime. Um, our solution is really based on our one value proposition. So with uh, Smart Connectivity Premium, you have just one contract with us, no need to sign uh, multiple contracts with uh, different carriers around the globe. Just have one global SIM, no need for regional SIMs. Uh, whatever you deploy in the world, you can just use one SIM. And you also have one management platform. Everything you do with your SIM is done in our Advantage platform that has been purpose-built for IoT. Um, with SGP32, uh, smart connectivity PRM is, is becoming an even uh, a better version of itself, uh, offering even greater flexibility and ease of use for customers, um, offering NM security, and uh, even access to more profiles for customers to load on, uh, on the same. So that, that's for our smart connectivity PRM solution. As you said, uh, there's lots of uh, buzz, lots of people, lots of competitors uh, on that. Uh, pushing EUICC uh, solutions out there. Um, and uh, the way our solution differs from uh, uh, the rest of the solutions uh, uh, in the market is we really understand uh, our customers and the pain point. We've, we've been in uh, the IoT uh, market for more than 30 years combined, looking at cellular services and CMP, and really understand that customers want uh, an easy to use and flexible solution. So we've built Smart Connectivity Premium with that in mind, making it extremely easy and seamless for customers to use. So no need for the customer to be hands-on and tweak, select which, uh, uh, which profile they want on their SIM based on location. We handle everything uh, for the customer with our uh, intelligence built in the SIM. The SIM automatically detects which profile to use for the SIM based on its location, based on some business constraint, permanent roaming constraint, coverage constraints, um, the SIM is just handling that uh, profile switch automatically for the customer. And as I already mentioned, we also want to make it easy from a, a logistic perspective with just one SIM. Um, you just need to, or one global SIM from us, wherever you deploy in the world, uh, don't need to manage different SKUs, uh, just one SKU for all of your global deployment. 
Yeah, it's pretty fascinating. Like if you have just one global SIM for uh, deployment, so the smart connectivity premium definitely serves uh, or solves a lot of problems and complexity uh, within the IoT ecosystem. And it will be good to get some uh, real world use cases or examples that you can actually uh, give around uh, uh, around this smart connectivity premium. Yeah, so, so there are definitely several uh, applications and industries that can uh, benefit from SDP32. Uh, all of the applications where uh, seamless global connectivity is needed. Uh, I'll maybe start with, uh, I just finished my previous uh, answer on, on the global SIM. I want to start with that again. Um, customers that uh, do manufacture globally or have global deployment, uh, making it easy for them to have just one SIM, uh, whether they uh, say manufacture in one country, want to get the SIM uh, uh, embedded in, in the device and test it, and then ship that uh, device to another country, having that uh, one SIM value proposition where they can just uh, uh, use that same SIM at the factory and in the deployment. And actually, wherever they deploy in the world, it could be that they manufacture in the country and then ship uh, throughout the globe. That one uh, global SIM value proposition uh, uh, really resonates with those customers uh, manufacturing overseas and, and having global deployments. Uh, then there's um, all the use cases around fixed assets. Uh, we work a lot with customers in the video surveillance, smart meters, or even uh, industry sensors, all of those fixed assets uh, need permanent roaming. We know some countries have uh, permanent roaming restrictions. And so with Smart Connectivity Premium, uh, leveraging SGP32 and, and the ability to load the local profiles on the SIM, um, those uh, uh, applications will benefit from uh, uh, this type of uh, SGP32 solution, uh, not just for the permanent roaming, but also those deployments tend to be uh, generally pretty, pretty large, covering a large uh, um, uh, area, potentially some areas where uh, connectivity can be challenging. And so having a solution that offers the uh, greatest coverage possible, uh, taking advantage of multiple images, multiple profiles, multiple networks, is also a, a, great, uh, a great fit uh, for them. And last, I'll, I'll finish with uh, uh, mobile assets, uh, whether it's uh, fleet management, asset tracking, or, or even supply chain logistics, all of those use cases that uh, need coverage uh, throughout the globe where the asset is going to travel from country to country, making sure that the same has always on connectivity wherever it is in the world uh, is extremely uh, critical. Um, and, and a solution like Smart Connectivity Premium offering uh, ultimate coverage throughout the globe, leveraging SGP32, is is a great fit for all of those uh, applications. Yeah, and and have the benefit of having multiple operator profiles is definitely one of the things that uh, uh, excites the uh, excites different players. But it will be good to understand how does uh, a Semtex structure its offerings to leverage the advantage of multiple operator profiles. And if there are any cost implications or challenges because of that? No, nah, good, good question. So again, yeah, we, I think, really understand that uh, our, our customers uh, want IoT to be easy, simple, transparent, and frictionless for them. And so that's really with that in mind that we built a smart connectivity premium and the offer around it. Um, so what th what does that mean uh, for the for the customer? Uh, so we build an offer that is simple for them with a flat, predictable pricing. Uh, pricing is going to be the same for the customer. Uh, whatever network they attach to, whatever profile is automatically uh, uh, loaded onto the same. No need for the customer to worry about that. They know that uh, with us, uh, they sign for a given price, and it's going to be that price, whatever the same attached to in terms of network or, or profile. Um, we also want to make it uh, super easy for the customer from a, a profile selection. We don't want the customer to have to go into uh, the management platform and select for each of the things which profile should be uh, loaded. We want that to be uh, automated, and that's why we built some intelligence within the SIM to automatically detect what is the right profile, the right network to attach to based on the offer, based on the use case of the customer. So again, we want to make it easy, seamless for the customer. 
and and NAST, uh, but NATIST uh, always aim for uh, frictionless overall frictionless experience for the customer. We want to make it extremely easy for them to uh, manage multiple uh, uh, networks, multiple uh, uh, profiles, and having just one contract with us uh, where they don't even have to worry about selecting which profile makes that happen, that frictionless ex experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, so from your perspective, how you are constructing is pretty clear that uh, you are giving them the flexibility, you are giving them, the, I mean, it's a one-stop shop. But at the same time, when you look at it from the perspective of the customers themselves, so are there some best practices that they really need to be adopting when it comes to SGP 31, 32? Sure, yeah. So SGP 32 is very new standout from the GSMA. Um, and even though the aim is to make it uh, easier for, for customers to use and deploy SGP32, there's still some complexity uh, uh, to it. And it really requires a strategic approach for customers to make sure that uh, they have a seamless uh, implementation and, and overall long-term success with SGP32. So here, I'd like to highlight uh, three best practices that I think uh, customers should focus on as they deploy uh, SGP32. Uh, the first one is to properly and fully understand SGP32 and its benefits. As I said, it's it's aiming to be easier for customers, but there's still some complexity to it, really understanding the SGP32 architecture, how it works from a provisioning standpoint, security protocols is essential to ensure a successful deployment. Um, that's why we've uh, developed this uh, video series with, with Counterpoint Research is to make sure that we can educate customers. It's part of uh, our values at, at Semtech. We want to make sure that uh, our customers and all the uh, players in the market uh, uh, learn from us, learn from the experts. And so making sure that uh, information on SGP32 is available to uh, the greater number is important to us. So uh, watching this video series, but also getting more documentation on SGP32 is, I think, a best practice before uh, jumping into SGP32. The second one is uh, making sure the device and the application are optimized for interoperability. Um, so with SGP32, uh, the same is going to switch uh, between profiles. And so we want to make sure that uh, both the hardware and the firmware can efficiently uh, manage, handle this multi-profile switching. And with that comes also the device certification. Some profiles will need the device to be certified. So it's important that customers uh, make sure that their device is fully compliant uh, with all of the um, networks that will be used with SGP32. And last but not least, it's uh, obviously testing uh, for ensuring the optimization, uh, making sure that uh, the same device is, is, is working uh, properly and the, the fallback mechanisms are, are in place to make sure that uh, the solution once deployed in the field uh, will be successful. Uh, and the third and last uh, uh, best practice that I want to, to highlight is uh, making sure to engage early with uh, an IoT connectivity partner. As you build the uh, solution and the device and the application, engaging with a trusted IoT connectivity partner with uh, lots of experience that can guide you throughout your SGP32 journey is going to be critical, uh, making sure that the partner offers great flexibility and ease of use and offer a wide range of, uh, of profiles available in the solution is going to be a key aspect of the overall success of the solution. So making sure those three best practices are followed uh, should get customers on the right track when it comes to implementing SGP. As a customer, uh, I mean, I, I'm making large investments. And before I make large investments, I would really need to test out uh, the connectivity solutions in the real world uh, conditions. So does Semtech offer uh, uh, trial programs uh, for smart connectivity premium uh, on SGP32? And what kind of support can the customers expect from Semtech uh, in order to optimize uh, their deployments? Sure, yeah, that, that's the logical uh, next steps for customers uh, who are interesting, uh, interested and, and definitely consider moving to SGP32 is to go into that trial phase. Um, so we have in place a, a trial uh, program with trial sims that customers can uh, can try and embed in in their device. Uh, we're about to release that program in the coming uh, coming weeks. And as you know, SGP32 is still to be uh, uh, fully uh, approved and vetted by, SG, by the GSMA. 
And so as, uh, as the GSM equity approved by, by summer 2025, we'll have our, our, our final, uh, SGP 32 SIMs available, uh, for customers. But in the meantime, customers can still try our pre-approved, uh, solution. I would, uh, invite any customers interested in, in trying our solutions to either visit our website, semtech.com or, or get in touch directly with our sales team at, uh, sales at semtech.com. Uh, to get started uh, with SGP32, uh, we have a fully dedicated uh, sales team and 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 uh, technical sales team that uh, uh, work uh, day in day out with customers uh, and help them build uh, build their next uh, IoT solutions, and that includes SGP32, helping customers embrace SGP32 and uh, and get on the right track. Thanks, Jerome. That uh, wraps up our discussion, and uh, thank you for uh, answering uh, the questions that I had on how do we navigate this uh, new standard. Uh, and as the market evolves and the demand grows more complex, companies like Semtech will play a vital role in ensuring that the right technology is deployed efficiently and effectively. And to our audience, we appreciate your tuning in for this four-part series. In case you missed any of the previous episodes, I would really recommend to go back uh, and check them out. And thank you and have a nice day.